would you like to move to Tuscany and yes. walk around this piazza, yes. right? <laughs> I would too, <laughs> I would too. Take a look at this. You could have a birthday party there. You could have holiday celebrations there. If you moved here and your family comes to visit you, you're gonna show them around this piazza? What else are you gonna show them, Jamie? These beautiful archways as you're walking through the town. So gorgeous. Yeah, it looks like a really cute town. It does. And it's not that tiny. Nope. Okay, here is the cutest cottage in Tuscany that maybe you've ever seen. All right, let's get into it. We are in Fivizano in Tuscany. $117,000, two bedroom, three bathroom, and just over 1,200 square feet. All right, let's see where it's at. Okay, north of Pisa, I like it. Uh, look at that hillside town, like we always say. Always. You know, that's it's what just we want, thing. that's what we like. Here it is, perfect. So, of course, we're in Tuscany. There are a ton of wineries. <laughs> all those pink dots, all wineries. And there is one in town. Hey, and check that out. Uh, we are, I think it's about 15 minutes from Casola and Luna Gianna. That is a uh, video we did three or four videos ago. So mm -hmm. check it out, right? Really so pretty property. We really like this area, we do. actually. Yep. So what is the name of our channel? It's Wandering with Wine, right? So let's wander around this courtyard in a local winery, right? Drinking some wine, perhaps. Go inside, maybe buy some wine. I think this is a beautiful place. Look at the barrel vaulted ceilings, right? Yeah. I love that. Look at the walls, the floors. Take all my money. Yes, it's please. so pretty. <laughs> That's funny. It's true. <laughs> it's absolutely true. And here's a view from that winery. It's so stunning, seeing all these little hillside towns. Oh, mm. I just love it. And after you have a glass or two of wine, you go to these restaurants, and there's a good number of restaurants in this town, so I think that's great. There's a lot for 7,100 yeah. residents. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of restaurants. Oh yeah. Don't feel like eating out. Maybe you took some Italian cooking lessons, want to give it a shot at home. There's four grocery stores in town. There are also several bars in town. You know what? Go into one or two of them. Make friends with the locals. It'd be fun, right? If you need a doctor, it's only 12 minutes away. If you need a hospital, it's only five minutes away. So wow. you're good. That's probably one of the closest, if not the closest, from all the properties we've been doing, right? I think so. I think so. Where are all the teeth? There are no teeth on this map, but there are two dentists in the area. They're only 12 minutes away. Perfect. And if you have a prescription that needs to be filled, there are three pharmacies in town. That's perfect. Yep. Okay, we've been talking about how important it is to us to have a veterinarian close, okay? That's and that, so and that bores you, and that <laughs> bores you, right? But here they are in the flesh. This is Zoe and Maui. And 12 minutes away, we have a veterinarian to take care of you, to take care of you. Oh. And if you're into hiking, it's only 20 minutes away. Perfect. Where's, Where's the, the beach? beach? It's only 42 minutes away. So this is the view from a beach pretty close by. It's a resort, but man, look at that. That's beautiful. Right, it's I so different than the States. Oh yeah. So how far away is skiing? It's only 30 minutes away. Okay, here's another unique fact about this property. You could be skiing in the morning and then you can go to the beach and take a dip in the afternoon. I mean, yeah. what else could you ask for? So perfect. Mm. If you have kiddos or you want to go back to school, there are plenty of schools in the area. If you want to rub it in that you're in Italy and your family is not, you can send them a postcard from these two post offices. There are two post offices in this town. Perfect. Yep. As expected, there are churches in this town. There's three. So here's a rando from all of our research. There are four hair salons in town. There are two spas, one optician, many clothing and accessory stores, a gas station, and even a, an electric vehicle charging station. What? That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of amenities. And Seriously. a partridge and a pear tree. Okay, before we get into the house, you might be wondering, where are we? <laughs> yeah. Right? This is not our usual area. It's a little different. Yeah. Um, 
We are staying at our best friend's house, Dan and Aaron. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Salute. See you in a couple weeks. All right. All right. Now it's time to finally see this adorable cottage. And I don't know why, but I just love this one. I love it. It's so cute. Jamie, AKA Jamie wife, one word, Jamie wife. That's what all of our friends that started my nickname. calling her after I named her on her honeymoon, um, found this property and we really love this one. Thanks for finding this one, babe. Yeah. Okay, so you go through this front door into the property and this is what you see. Oh, that fireplace. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> okay, ready? Look at the floors, look at the fireplace, look at the ceiling. I mean, that kitchen looks new, fresh yeah. and clean. <laughs> and I like that. It's actually handmade, those cabinets. They're handmade out of chestnut. Mm. Here is a close up of that fireplace. And you can also see wood ceilings with wood beams. I mean, mm. that's They're so beautiful. Pretty. Love yeah. the floors too. Yep. So here is a close up of that kitchen, gas cooktop oven, the beautiful cabinets, pretty big dining table. You yeah. might be able to do something else there, put a little island if you need more counter mm -hmm. space, but it's really pretty. I agree. Yeah. So from the kitchen, you see this doorway out to some kind of view. What's out there? That is a terrace. You can fit a decent number of people out there, mm -hmm. right? And look at that view. It's beautiful. It is. It's so pretty. Look at the soffit from the roof. Mm -hmm. And right in the corner there is a bathroom. Yeah, in the bottom right there, you see a little something. That is actually a bathroom. We don't have a picture of it, but there's a oh, bathroom there's in there. There's a bathroom right? there, as you can see on the floor plan. Mm -hmm. Coming in from that beautiful terrace through the double doors, you can see that whole main floor living area. It's cozy, but it's so cute. I love the ceilings. Yeah. I feel like you could reconfigure the spaces a little bit, get rid of that hutch in the dining room, move mm -hmm. the table, maybe mm -hmm. put a little island in, like I said before and move the couch around. I feel like you can make it work a little bit better, but yeah. I just, I don't know why I just love this one so much. Yeah, it's super cute. So you'll see in the front, there are some stairs. If you go up those stairs right here, you end up into this bedroom. Look at that. I mean, the ceilings are beautiful. The floors are beautiful. The view is beautiful, mm -hmm. right? I think that you probably have a lot of uh, furniture in that room, but Large you could, recon yeah, you could yeah. reconfigure that and you could make it work for sure. Mm -hmm. So instead of going to that bedroom, when you reach the top of the stairs, you could turn right and go into this other bedroom. It's small, it's cozy, they put bunk beds in there. You can make it an office or something else, but it has beautiful ceilings as well. I love it. For sure. So on the upper level with those two bedrooms, which they also call the first floor, there's a full bathroom. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's a, that's a cute bidet. I kinda Very like cute that. bidet. I, I kind of like that. So uh, you can make that work up there. So there is another space with this property. There's an external staircase to get to it. But once you do, you have this nice size area that you could really do anything with, with another bathroom. So every level of this home has a bathroom, which doesn't usually happen in no, Italy. That's pretty impressive, right? Yeah. So they're using this, there's a dining room table and a couch in there, but you know, you could use this as a bedroom. Mm -hmm. You could use this as any other type of space, a workout space, a she shed, a man cave, a recording studio, whatever you want. But you know what? The truth is this space is very flexible. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this is really the view when you walk into this space. Those beams and the floors, mm. the double doors, so, so pretty. Nice. And I see a patio and a garden. So here's the outside patio area. It's covered, right? You could have a table out there. You could have dinner. You could drink some wine. You can do some puzzles, whatever you want. But then look at that. You have a yard. You can put a garden out there. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, if you have pets like we do, they could do their business out there. You know, mm -hmm. pretty cool, pretty cool. And then looking up from your garden at the house, you can see the three levels, the terrace, the shutters. It is a cute, quaint cottage. I was going to say, you know, I don't, I, we were talking about Tim before. Does he have a satellite? Or is that a satellite dish? It's not a satellite, genius! It's a satellite dish! So how far is it from the airport? It's about an hour and a half. Not great, not horrible. Right in the middle. 
there are also two bus stops in town that works, right? Mm -hmm. Train stations, there are a ton of them around this town, which is great. So now we've done planes, trains, and now for automobiles, say you want to drive to Rome, it's about five hours. Say you want to drive to Florence, it's about two hours and 15 minutes. Okay, how do you access this house? Okay, in this house in particular, you park in a charming church parking lot and you wander through cute cobblestone streets to this property. And when I say wander, I may mean wandering with wine, right? So you can't park on the property, but you can park outside of it and you can get to the property through cobblestone streets. I think that's great. Let's talk about temps, baby. How hot we can be. Well, I'll say this. It's not too hot. The average high in the hottest month is only 78. It's not even into the 80s. We like that. And 64 as a low. I mean, this is actually... That's pretty good. Right in our sweet spot. Yep. Hopefully it is for you. Mobile and internet. So Wintray, Iliad, 5G. Then you add in Vodafone and they all offer 4G+. Plus. And there's Tim for you. 4G+. Tim, Tim, plus. Tim. Tim. <laughs> And most of these offer fiber options for your home, and then Starlink is available all throughout Italy. Does Amazon deliver? Yes, they do. One to three days delivery. Perfect. So our checklist for this property, air conditioning, no. Fireplace, yes, beautiful fireplace. Beautiful floors, yes. Tile and wood ceiling, yes. Wood beams, yes. Terrace, yes. View, yes. Garage, no. Yard slash garden, yes. Pool, no. Before we get to the property information, I would just like to say thanks for joining us. We'll see you next Friday at 6 p.m., right? Um, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying yourself, and uh, we'll see you soon, right? So let's talk about the property. Okay, so here's the property information one more time. Fee Visano in Tuscany, $117,000 two bedroom, three bath with that flexible space on the bottom floor. Yeah. And cool. just over 1,200 square feet. All right, so we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Take care. Bye.